Consume with a stadion. Ah, excellent choice. Hmm. Hesitating Shadow Heart. Hesitate. Watch your back. Take psychic damage every turn, but deal more damage for ten turns. Recovers on a short rest with Psionic Overlord. 1d4! 1d4 is not worth The first attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. Very good on a Starion. Charge forward, push all objects and creatures in your path, 4 meters away from you. Good on Barbarian on a fighter. Maybe even on a Paladin. Consecrated Blast. Digs D... 66 basically. 60-36. You must be concentrating on another spell to cast this good on a Cleric. If the target was concentrating... You heal as much damage as it was dealt yet. Okay. Sacrifice your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same Ooh, amount. Luck of the Far Realms. When you make successful attack roll against a foe. We can change that hit into a critical. Charm. Generate a dark allure with the dead pole to charm an enemy that attacks you. Preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. It's a reaction. It's a bloody reaction. Spammable reaction. Ability drain. Once per turn, when you make an attack roll, the attack reduces the target's corresponding ability by one. Interesting. Stage Fright. Targets have disadvantage on attack rolls and take psychic damage each time they miss. It's a wisdom save. Stakes. Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Frankly, I don't know who can benefit out of this. I really don't know who can make profit out of this. That's a bad heal. Very bad heal. Needs to be 8. It sucks. Shield of Trolls. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally. Grant the target 10 temporary hit points until a long rest. False life will not work. Can only have one temporary hit points from a source. So false life doesn't merge with a shield of trolls. It, basically, this is false life. This is false life. Psionic backlash. 
For an enemy within 9 meter casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict psychic damage to the caster. But it's only 1d4. Call the weak. It's a toggable passive. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points, then your number of evolved powers, it dies. And all nearby creatures will take 1 to 4 psychic damage. Call the weak is great. A repulsor. Push anything and anyone back 6 meters. Good. Force damage push. On a short rest. This place. All that suffer full damage because of your actions take additional psychic damage. It combines with a push. They still they merge together. And the rest are locked. So how do I see the brain? Extremely good call the weak. On everyone. Repulsor and displace. Again good on everyone. But they need to merge, you need them both. Considering that you need this, that, to have this still unlocked, the best merge is with Melis, with Fighter, with Melee Ranger, with Paladin, with Fighter, or some of Monk, or some of those multi classes. This segment, this three. This is definitely made for a rogue. Or a ranged ranger. Luck of the Far Realms, Charm, Favorable Beginnings, absolutely amazing on a rogue. The upper part, with Psionic Overload. This is absolute garbage, good on a spellcaster, but it's absolute garbage, the only good one is stage fright. This still, I do not like them. I just don't. It takes only one ability. Maybe it's good because of the spellcasting ability, but I need to test it out. It doesn't sound as well as these so if you go on a spell caster you go with psionic overload into stage fright healing i do not like it this is false life basically this is huge penalty for a healing take twice as much damage from a certain damage type game jesus christ Jesus Christ. No. Perilous stakes. No. Big no. Sacrifice half of your hit points to heal someone up for the same amount. And the Shield of Thralls, which is completely useless. This entire sk skill tree here that has to do with healing, at least for the start, it's completely useless, even on a cleric. Better to take push on a cleric than to take a heal. Fuck this. This entire segment is bad. And the last one. Heal while, while concentrating. Good on a cleric. Probably good on a druid. Good on a sork. Good on a wizard. Basically, this is defensive utility on, on spellcasters. Very good with tanky spellcasters.
use reaction to inflict psychic damage. That, that 1d4 only. Even though you inflict psychic damage on an enemy, when they spell cast around you, it's only 1d4. But Calder Week is absolutely amazing. Kaldavik is basically an execute. They should call it execute. How does it work? If you invest six illitid worms, dead poles, when enemy is six out of 70 HP, you execute. They can survive on low health. If you got one, if they have one HP and you got one dead pole invested, they die although you need two to unlock it so two is the minimum heal points where you can execute and the rest of the enemies around them will take psychic damage that's in short what belongs to what this is good on a warlock as well as on a cleric For Astarion, because he wants those dead balls. Astarion goes with a favorable beginnings. First attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains bonus equal to efficiency bonus. Zendrix, thanks for the two months, Zendrix. When you make a successful attack roll against the foe, you can change that hit into a critical. Get infested, Asterion. Generally, the Dark Allure to the Dead Pole Charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. This is a reaction. I would go with Call the Week on Astarion. Yeah, I'll go with Call the Week. When they try to cast a spell around the stadium, you can play the side. Okay, that's for a stadium. Simple as that. Let him be. Let's ask him how he feels with six dead balls in his head. The air is ripe with magic. What can I do for you, my friend? Ah, there is no option. Let's explore. 